I've been in more conversations with people like, hey, who do you think's going to headline Madison Square Garden? You know, one thing about Dana White is he's not a poker player, and he does not bluff. I mean, he doesn't. You can go back and look at his history. He, I remember when Dana was making these claims and people said, oh, he's crazy and he's just being a promoter. Then sure enough, he'd follow through on his word, and it would happen. I mean, from the growth of the sport to, to national television deals to publicly traded companies coming in as sponsors of the company, everything that he ever said happened. And he said, we are going to give you a blowout main event for Madison Square Garden. Now, the only reason I offer you that is because I'm not confident that the card isn't great the way it is. I'm not confident that if push comes to shove, you elevate Diaz and Poirier to a five-round fight, make them the main event, and everybody goes home happy. I'm not confident of that. I think that works. I just think Dana is going to do, I think he's going to do something great and special. And when you come out and you start to speculate what that is, we did all commonly believe that that would be revealed in New York last week at the press conference between Connor and Khabib. We believed that because they were in New York, because MSG, for those of you that are geographically impaired, happens to be in New York, and it was a press conference where you would announce major press. So we had that conclusion. But when Dana didn't do it, we all looked at that and go, well, yeah, of course he didn't do it. Why would he do it today? Why would he do anything that could overshadow the biggest fight in the sports history. Why would he do anything today for a card that's seven weeks away when he's promoting a card that's three weeks away? Once again, Dana gets it right. Dana did it exactly right. All of our predictions were wrong, but we should have been wrong. He should have announced it that day. didn't matter if they were in New York. He had other business that day. Once again, Dana got it right. I'm not sure, and tickets go on sale tomorrow for the MSG card. So could we find out uh, very quickly? Could we find out? Now, I might be wrong. I think tickets might go on sale today. I'd have to look that up. But the point is, point is they're running out of time if they want to announce their main event in conjunction with an on-sale date. What's to say they do? What's to say that the, the point I made a moment ago isn't spot on, which the card's pretty damn good the way it is? What's to say that they don't wait until you're fading to black and rolling the credits on October 6th where you have more eyeballs in the, from this market than you're ever going to have before and you put it on the back end of that show? If you guys will remember, that's how they rolled out the Brock Lesnar fight, Brock Lesnar's return at UFC 200. There was a pay-per-view going on. They had some B-roll put together and out of nowhere, boom, he's back and Brock Lesnar's face pops up. It was a cool dramatic way to do it. Didn't even have an opponent announced. So what's to say they're not going to do that on October 6th when the MSG card isn't for another month? That's more than enough time to build anticipation and hype for a retail product that's going on sale 30 days later, roughly, and not get in the way of the product that is being sold on October 6th. So... In conclusion, I'm sticking with my John Jones theory, though I will fully admit as each day goes by, it gets weaker and weaker. I just am forced with the fact that they said it's going to be a major fight. Diaz and Poirier is an anticipated fight, so that's our bar. It's got to be above that, and I don't know anybody with any free time with any spots open on their dance card that could fill in and be a bigger and better and more anticipated fight than Poirier versus Diaz. I, I don't know of one. I couldn't I couldn't offer you a guess. I've heard guesses that I find ridiculous. I heard George St. Pierre. That's ridiculous to me. I wouldn't even come to you guys with that. George doesn't work that way, and he doesn't fill in short notice. Daniel Cormier sitting out one pay-per-view. Now he's being speculated. Hey, why is he sitting at home? What's he getting ready for? What's he training for? I- <laughs> As much as I want to laugh at that, I don't have anything better to offer you. Maybe the guy that made the call to me and, to, and, and offered me that, maybe he's on to something. Maybe a little RP's on to something. I don't know. But it sure has, from a marketing standpoint, been fun to not know. It's been fun to speculate. It's been fun to guess. I think we've all got a kick out of it. I don't think you can run a business that way. I don't know if we're going to be in this same spot again time after time. This is the new promotion. 
Ah, we can do it a card and we're not going to tell you what it is. Ha ha ha. No, I don't think so. But I think for this one time, for this first time, I think it's been great. I, I do. I really think that it's been fun.